Western Diamondback Rattlesnake. Come on, buddy. Wow. Come on. Just like the other one. Okay. Right, let's see what we got here. Right, what I'm going to show you are the fangs of this snake. And basically, I'm going to erect the fangs forward and tell you a little bit how these fangs function. The fang itself is a hypodermic needle designed by nature. This snake kills its prey by injecting it with venom. The venom will work as a pre-digested fluid, killing an animal. It aids in the digestion of that animal prior to the snake swallowing it. When these fangs are erected forward, they are connected to a duck. There is a venom gland that's surrounded by muscle, and when the snake contracts the muscle, it is then capable of forcing venom through those fangs. What I'll ask you to do is just hand me that little red hook over there. I need an assistant. <laughs> so who do you need? All right, and if you want, you can hold the, hold the back half of the snake for me, in case he tries to thrash when I do this. What do you want me to do? Just hold the butt, the, the, right the lower third. Yeah, put your hands all around it. Just keep it from moving, okay? okay? Yeah. No, use two hands. Okay. Now put one down towards the tail. Hold that part there. You know, firmly, but don't squeeze too hard, okay? Yeah. Right. You can come back to the front, okay? Don't squeeze, okay? Ooh, see those fangs? All right, there's the venom, okay? See the venom come through the fangs, okay? We're going to apply a little pressure. We're going to squeeze that venom right out of there. Look at all that venom. That's enough to kill half a homestead. Okay, and those are the fangs, and it drops down. Tastes a little bitter, but won't kill you. He just, <laughs> you just put that in your mouth. Yeah, it just neutralize it. He just put that in his mouth. Neutralizes with your own natural uh, saliva, so won't hurt you. Actually helps in the digestion. Oh, okay, you can let him go. And he's just fine. Okay, now we're gonna put him down. Oh, let's get you out of here. And then we're just gonna, and those are the fangs of a venom snake. There you go. All right, don't get too excited, buddy. You're right. Okay. There we go. Need a lid. All right. How was that? Wow. <laughs> wow. I don't do that every day. <laughs> <laughs> No words. Hey. You're the man. <laughs> Holy crap. Is your mouth numb right now or anything? No, it doesn't do anything. All it does is it tastes a little bitter. It's neutralized by your own uh, saliva. So basically, as a, uh, well, venom itself is composed of enzymes and proteins. It's a modification of the snake's own saliva. It's modified actually in the gland of the snake. So when the snake injects its venom into an animal, it's actually injecting its own saliva into that animal to kill it and pre-digest it. So it's used as a pre-digested fluid. Now, if you get a little bit of a sore throat, you can feel it scratch the back of your throat a little bit, but it won't cause any problems with the digestive tract. Even if you have any sores inside of your mouth, it will not get absorbed into your bloodstream. Uh, things don't bleed into the body. Usually they stay, you'll bleed out. So even if I had a cut, and I got venom on the surface of that cut, the venom would not get into my bloodstream and I would have nothing to worry about. Might get a little localized swelling around the area, but nothing severe. Can you hold this real like quick, sir? I just wanna stand next to this guy. All right. I just wanna stand next to this guy. This guy just, <laughs> did you see that? He milked the venom and then tasted it. <laughs> I want to make sure it's the real thing. <laughs> You're the real thing, brother. Seriously, Albert. That was awesome. Man, I, I sold I a rattlesnake. I give you an honorary ranger tab. <laughs> Seriously, that's awesome. I'm, um, that's awesome. I don't know how, I'm lost for words. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>